Hello everyone, it's me, Henry Boxdoll. Welcome to my channel, Troubleshooting with Henry. Today's episode is all about sightseeing. Sightseeing is exactly that. Figuring out the sites you want to go see and then going to see them. You can read about your destination ahead of time and create a list of the places you're interested in visiting. Travel books and videos are available at the public library for free. If you're traveling with other people, deciding what you want to see is a group decision. Some people in your group may have more energy than others, so you have to be respectful and listen to each other. If there's something you want to see, but someone you're traveling with doesn't, then you can go alone or with someone else. You don't have to see everything together all the time. In Europe, just like many places in the world, history, art, and culture are everywhere. You're surrounded by it. But remember, you can't possibly see everything, even if you really want to. Trying to cram too much into one day can be exhausting and may spoil your fun. Once you reach your destination, local tourist centers can provide useful sightseeing information. They'll have maps, brochures, and guidebooks with lots of suggestions of places to visit during your stay. Some cities offer passes for multiple sites that can be purchased as a package. This is a great money-saving option. If you're a person with a disability or a student, admission is often free or offered at a reduced price. Many museums and historical sites also have free admission days open to the public. Others have free admission, period. Buying tickets in advance will save you time in long lineups. There's always a shorter wait for people who have prepaid. Try to go to major tourist sites when they're less busy. For example, when they first open for the day. A good guidebook can be extremely helpful and offer suggestions for less touristy sites that may not be as busy. There are also many websites like Atlas Obscura that will direct you to unusual and often super cool places. When we went to France, Spain, and Portugal, we enjoyed going off the beaten track and visiting places that weren't accessible by public transportation. For places like this, you will need a car. Taking the city buses is a really great way to experience any city. You can get to see the less touristy areas, learn more about the local community, and might even find yourself having interesting conversations with the people you meet. My traveling companions and I would sometimes hop on a city bus when we were tired of walking and see where it took us. So. Make sure you always have bus fare handy. When you set off on a sightseeing adventure, here are some useful tips to keep in mind. Pack a snack and water. Make sure to wear comfortable shoes. Always carry a roll of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Carry sunscreen. Pack a light raincoat or an umbrella because the weather can change unexpectedly. Have a map and guidebook handy. If you get tired of sightseeing, going from one thing to another, you can just go for a relaxing stroll instead. I guarantee you'll see lots of cool things or have a rest. Listen to your new environment. Church bells, people talking, and the ambient sounds of the city. You can find a nice place to sit and just people watch. The point of sightseeing is to learn as much as you can about where you're visiting. So take your time, there's no rush, and enjoy the sights. 
Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. And as always, special thanks to Johnny Flynn for giving us permission to use his beautiful music. Happy travels! Who is waiting for?